Hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. This is day 16 of the July Deco Day Challenge. I think so. Oh, no free points today. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think. And you can kind of see from my background, I'm still in DC on my bed because the lighting is terrible and everywhere else. Uh, so, yeah, uh, just my, my eyebrows is weird. But okay. Anyway, today's poem is Out of Boundary Pass 576. Uh, hope everyone's doing all right. Hope everyone's you know weekend is is good. Um, I'm here in DC for a buddy's uh, a buddy's wedding, so I'm very excited about that. You know, congrats, congrats, all this stuff. Uh, yeah. And if you're watching, I guess I'd always said congrats. So I don't know, congrats again. Okay. Um. Anyway, today's poem is out of boundary paths. I always said this so. Okay, so let's say you have M by N grid with a bore. I always like to, if you long time know, um, I like to come to R and C for rows and columns. Sometimes I even, do I, I've actually, I think back in the day I would write rows and columns, but now I'm just going to R and C because I'm lazy. I don't know. Maybe on an interview you should do that uh, just to kind of make it more clear. Um, you know, M and N is such useless things. Also, there's a debate between M by N versus N by M. So, but R by C, everyone's clear which one is which. Anyway, you're allowed to move the board to one of the four adjacent cells. Of course, you can apply at most max moves to the board. Given M and max moves, start row, start column, return the number of paths to move the board out of the grid boundary. Since the engine can be very large, return mod 10, 9. Okay, let's do the mod song. Mod, 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 My mod song is actually different every time, but it's just to an actual song, except I say mod instead, but it lets me do it. And I, I know that it will never be the answer, but by the, but uh, it just forces me to that. By the time I get to the end, mod will be, I'll be like, oh, of course mod's not an answer, but I'll be like, oh, I have to mod this, so I should do it. Um, okay, so the big thing to notice is that max moves is 50. That means that you can do one of two things, which is either dynamic programming or memorization, top down or bottoms up. Um, I think for this one, honestly, technically, I would oh, actually there's one more thing that you can do, but maybe I'll talk about it later, a little bit later. Um, though for this case, probably too many moves and columns, maybe, 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 but eh, in any case. Um, no, that's not. Is that true? Do 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 do. No, it is. But but it, just something to think about in general. Um and yeah, okay. So yeah, I mean, if you want to go top down, let's go top down. Uh, I think it's pretty straightforward. Though this problem or this sometimes, I think one thing that I would say is also that you know sometimes I do top down, sometimes I do bottoms up. And for each problem, it just depends on how I approach this. For this, I actually am more inclined to do bottoms up because I think about it as a simulation, a simulation of states and a number of possible states, right? Um, I mean, it's not quite true in the true sense of the word, but you can think about it as, yeah, just like almost like, sim like, like in the same way that um, the game of life, for example, right? Like game of life is clearly simulation. It's not quite the same. The rule set is a little bit different, but as you, but that's the way that I want to think about it, or I think about it in general. So I don't know if this is helpful, but for everybody, but for some people, it's just about having different or an additional set of visualization, so that when you see this on a contest or an interview, then you know you have multiple tools to visualize and attack it. Um, actually, I did say that I was going to do bottom, uh, tops down, but let's do it bottoms up. Um, but yeah, that's the way that I want to think about it. I mean, that's not how I exactly think about it, to be honest. But but the game of life, you know, Conway's game of life, where you simulate adjacent cell, is kind of how I think about it. And also because of that game of life thing, um, you kind of almost built in uh, the space optimization as well, because... In the game of life, if you remember, you can only, every state is only dependent on the previous state. This is the same thing where every, uh, every time move, or I call it time, but every move, you now move to a state where you only depend on the previous state. So in that case, you know, uh, 
Yeah, in that case, it's way clear that you only need the two states, and also it will give you a space optimization. And so now instead of fifty cube, now you have fifty square. Okay, uh, and I think it probably both works well. I didn't do the math. What's fifty? Was it like one hundred twenty-five thousand or something? So you're probably okay. Yeah. Uh, anyway, wait. Do I have to? What is the total answer here? I actually forgot. Uh, oh, you're trying to move. Uh, out the boundary. Okay, number. Of, okay, so yeah, so that's the way that I do it. Of course, there is um. There are a couple of ways you can do it. I think the way that I would do it or think about it in general is with simulation. Um, and what I mean by that is that they are also like the inverse way of thinking about it, right? Meaning that, for example. Uh, here you can say that you're trying to figure out the number of paths that moves you out of bounds. Well, another way to say that is that's the no total number of paths minus the number of paths that are inbound, right? So there, are, uh, there are definitely ways you can do it. Um, but I'm just gonna and from for me because like I said, I think about it almost like a simulation. That's the way that I'm gonna do it. That's the way. That's the way. That's the way I'm gonna do it. Okay, so yeah, let's let's just say um, let's just say board for like a simulation board type thing. Uh, let's just say zero times c for da -da 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 -da. and this is just setting up an R by C grid of zero. And here we want to set start. Well, is it um, zero index or one indexed? Okay, this is actually one in. Oh no no no, one one. Okay, this is actually zero index, so I can do this. Start row well, start column is equal to one right because you have one ball in the beginning one possible path at the zero state or zero move um okay and you can't go outside anyway so then now we go for the, 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 the max move and also let's just have a a total is equal to zero so total number of bound paths and then here and i know there are a couple of ways you can do write this to make it even a stricter memory per se without memory without garbage collection i'm gonna do it for kind of uh just for clarity so i'm just gonna write it like this so we declare another r by c board right and then here what do we want to do um yeah oh i, I want to also add a thing for directions as we did yesterday i think or maybe the day before right this is dxdy, uh, and then now here we just kind of simulate, right? Um, for example, for x in range of r, for y in range of c, right? Uh, you have to always move, right? You can't just stay. Uh, just double checking. Sometimes you can, sometimes you cannot. Uh, okay. So then now, how do we do this? Well, uh, yeah. So then here we want to calculate. Uh, okay. So given board of x y, the next uh, update the next board, right? So then here, yeah, we just go for d x d y in directions nx and y is equal to x plus dx y plus dy right and then now well this is the interesting part right if zero da, 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 uh, and see that then now and maybe you can do an if statement to uh, to kind of skip the step but the next board is going to be oops is equal uh, increment by uh, this board of x y, meaning that now how many? Another way of saying it is okay. How many times is there to get the next move in in uh, this box, right? And that's just equal to the current box. You can move up, down, left, right, and then that's the number of moves. And this counts the number of moves um, uh, uh, that you can get there in the previous board. So that means that if there's three ways to get to my current position, there's three ways to go up, there's three ways to go left, 
there's three ways to go down and there's three ways to go right, right? Because you're just creating an extra path from the previous path. Okay. And then else, what's else? Uh, we have to also do mod, I know. Hang on. Uh, else, we increment it by, you know, this amount because now you ended this by going out of bounds. Um, and then at the way end, we can just do, 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 do and that's, oh, well, one thing that I forgot. Is that at the way end you set board is equal to the next board and it will repeat itself max move times um of course we need to think about mod so let's do that here and hopefully this will be good i've been uh, let's see i've been really sloppy lately with getting it right on the first typing so maybe that is a way i should challenge myself because i've been just sloppy let me see and like I said, you can add an if statement here so that because if board x y is equal to zero, why run this? But uh, yeah, let's give it a spin. It should be okay either way. Okay, so this looks good for now. Um, here, you know, it's very easy to have a max move type situation. So let's have a fifty by fifty with max move is equal to fifty, and maybe start at like twenty five, twenty five or something. So then let's give it a spin. Okay, so that looks good and it runs in good time. So let's give it a quick submit. Yes. Well, much slower than last time, but yes. Uh, some of it is because uh, we don't take out the impossible states, but I don't think it should be that much. What did I do last time? Huh, I guess I did the same thing mostly. So that's awkward, actually. Uh, I do we use the, the space more uh, explicitly but in any case yeah so what is the complexity here well this is just gonna be O of max move times R times C right these are the four loops you could even times four if you like but the big O obviously gets rid of it and then space is just O of R times C times two which obviously to two gets away so this is space this is way I, I mean this is bottoms up dynamic programming but I like to think about like as almost like a simulation background so so yeah let me know that's how you think why is this so much slow oh like eh, i guess this thing makes it that much of a difference i mean i, I could have done it but I, I we were just talking about it and i you know it's fine uh cool um also i'm wearing a pink shirt i'm not actually half naked hmm. or at least not the top half anyway um yeah that's what i have with this one let me know what you think stay good stay healthy to good mental health I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.